welcome back to BeYoungMinistry.com to another blog and to another podcast. Today we continue our study of Jude. We're in verses 17 through 19, which reads, But dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ were told. They said to you, In the last times there will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires. These are the people who divide you who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the Spirit. That's Jude, verses 17 through 19. In today's text, we continue to learn more about the apostate, the false teachers who once embraced the truth, but somewhere along the way, they changed their tune. It wasn't that they lost their salvation. They never entered into a personal relationship with the Lord. Their problem was they embraced the truth, but the truth didn't embrace them. When the church was born at Pentecost, the new life of the church was obviously exhilarating. It was pure, it was powerful, it was productive. They were devoted to prayer and worship and the apostles' teachings, and they gathered every day to engage in all of those things, including being generous with one another and the needy. They had the heart of the Lord because he lived within them through the Holy Spirit. They persevered in the faith despite the persecution from unbelievers. And perseverance in the faith is a mark of the born-again believer in Christ. In those early days of their newfound life in Christ, the apostles were given the ability to look into the future because of the abiding Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit enabled them to see something frightening, that there would be those who would defect from the truth. To those early believers, it must have seemed absolutely crazy that there was coming a time when people who proclaimed Christ would defect. But it happened. And this is why the Holy Spirit prompted Jude to write this little yet powerful book. In verses 17 and 18 of today's passage, we read, But dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you, In the last times, there will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires. Just 25 years after Jude wrote these words, it happened. Apostasy came fast, and the church was corrupted before it ever got out of the first century. And since that time, it has continued in every generation. It is not that they lost their salvation. No, they never had it. And somewhere along the line, the people chose not to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ any longer. One cannot lose the gift of salvation, for God has said, I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. In today's passage, we are reminded this would happen. Jude did write, but dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. In 2 Corinthians 11.13, we read, Such men are false apostles, deceitful workers, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan himself disguises himself as an angel of light. Therefore, it is not surprising if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their deeds. In 1 Timothy 4, we learn in the last days some will fall away from the faith, paying attention to deceitful spirits, doctrines of demons, and hypocritical liars. On this same subject, the Lord Jesus himself said in Matthew 24, As time goes forward, there will be many false prophets and false Christs. Back in Jude verse 10, we read, These people slander whatever they do not understand, and the very things they do understand by instinct, as irrational animals do, will destroy them. Apostates mock what they cannot comprehend, 
They treat the truth with mockery. But it's truth they once profess and still profess, which makes them so dangerous. In verse 19 of today's passage, we read, These are the people who divide you, who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the Spirit. Apostates always are the ones who claim to have the Spirit of God and think everyone else who doesn't agree with them causes division. But they are the ones who cause the division. The verb divide in Jude 19 means to make a distinction. Division is the effect of false teaching. The truth and lies are separate. The root of division is the idea that distinctions are made. Apostates believe they are superior to all others. They believe their interpretation of the scriptures is above all most accurate. And they despise anyone in the church who has authority. Interestingly, the word Pharisee comes from the Hebrew word, which means to separate. They think they're at an elevated level and they scoff at those who take the word of God at face value and endeavor to follow it. Apostates are those who follow mere natural instincts. That phrase is one word in the Greek, meaning they are enslaved to and driven by their own fallen fleshly desires. Sadly, they think they know better than those who have a personal relationship with God. At the end of verse 19, we read, they have not the Spirit. These of whom Jude writes are not born again. They have not entered into a personal relationship with God by believing in the Lord Jesus and inviting him in to their lives. They are spiritually dead. If anyone is spiritual, it is because God lives in and he sometimes expresses himself through the believer. In Galatians 5, we read of the fruit of the Spirit, which are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We appear as Christ-like because God expresses himself in and through our yielded lives. He expresses himself through the activity of the Holy Spirit, who abides within the believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. The goal of the Christian life is to increasingly allow God to have control over our lives, and then we will be known as the children of God in the eyes of others because of his expression through us. My friends, I trust this blog and this podcast are helpful to you in your walk with the Lord. If I can be of further assistance to you, shoot me an email at theyoungministry at gmail.com. Hey, have a great day.